did an awkward pause there so y'all Patreon members can uh, get that awkward pause to its full extent. By the way, I have a Patreon. For $5, you can get access to next week's episode right away, as well as the full length uh, version of that episode. But uh, you can, for $10, you can get access to up to four weeks ahead. So, I mean, uh, if you want to go ahead and do that, link is going to be in the description and in the pinned comments. But uh, with that being said, we're going to talk about what happened last time. Last time was a Snow White and a Prince Charming episode. Uh, Prince Charming was wandering in the woods because he he had amnesia, forgot his memory. And in the real world, or in the non-magic world, he has amnesia, woke up out the hospital, went to a forest, uh, damn near died. And um, it, was just, it basically was telling the story of snow white and prince charming which is which is fine i i actually like this version or this telling of like uh prince charming and uh snow white because it um how should i put it it gave more a, oh how should i put it uh it gave snow white more of a personality as well as prince charming because in if in the disney classic it's just literally like oh snow white's a singing bitch and she and she she's just happy and shit, and she she's around seven dwarfs. She doesn't really have much of a personality, and then Prince Charming literally shows up out of nowhere, and then uh, yeah, so there's not that much substance to the Disney uh, show, uh, whereas this or the, the Disney movie, I should say. But with this, there's a little bit more context provided to why they fell in love or why they like each other. So I I, I like that. I like that they're providing a little bit more um, detail into things because I guess you have to when you are seven seasons deep and you're dealing with like a limited amount of characters or whatever. You got to like flesh them out a little bit so you can care about them in the future. So uh, I'm going to stop talking because you guys only care about the reaction. So we're going to get into the reaction. Let's go ahead and get it. Patreon for early access. Join the discord to discuss once upon a time with me. Let's get it. Oh, let me guess. This is Cinderella. The the Cinder the Cinderella story. Oh, who just washes the taste of that Camilla Cabello, Cabello fucking Cinderella movie that I ha was forced to watch. Who are you? Uh, what? What did you do? I got what I wanted. There's no need to be frightened. What? Dang, the fairy fucking got blown she up. The fairy godmother. She was trying to help. The fairy godmother. Your favor. Name it. What favor? I don't like the way that sounds. Oh, but you will. That sounds like he wants a baby. Will come riches more than you know. Why do people do this? Every time somebody brokers a deal they like don't be specific about what they want in return like that's like me going to a loan office and being like hey i need a thousand dollars and then they'll be like well i need a favor from you like what that's not how loans work ask for money in return dang they had to sign an nda why do they need a bus for like a very small town like how far could the school be Yo, she is always running into problem with the police. So or with the one attention. police. There's not much of that going on here. I don't see a lot of sheriff thing going on around here either. How can you just walk up to somebody and be like, Hey, I like the cut of your jib. How do you want to be a deputy? Stay a while. Hope the guy you don't have a criminal background. You don't? No. Because you no longer worry me, Miss Swan. Finally, so she's like playing game like game not. Game. She's not being super aggressive. Oh, that's quite soothing. Like, cause that's she's always trying to saying. scheme and shit. Yeah. She's just keeping her here so longer. The dresses you've had in the last decade. Your longest stint anywhere was two years. Really, what did you enjoy so much about Tallahassee? Ugh. If you're wondering, I did find a place here in town. I know. The methamphetamine. They fool themselves into believing they can. Now you're just making her no, feel like she needs to change. If you didn't say anything, you just let it be. She probably would have naturally just left. Henry, what's best for him? I was 18. When, when you had a kid? Yeah. 
I know what it's like. Everyone loves to tell you what you can and can't do. Especially what do you mean? You know what it's like? You gave them up for adoption. You know what it's like signing the adoption papers? You can Maybe. tell her how to do that? The choice is yours. Oh, I mean, I, I guess the experience of being pregnant in 18, I guess. People are going to tell you who you are your whole just like wait till he get a little bit further to like smash uh something with a huge brick. Ugh, those dolls. Ashley. Oh shit. What are you doing? Use the brick. Changing my life. Oh wow. now this is breaking and entering and now assault and battery. You can't pepper spray somebody in their own house place of business this is a crime this is the hugest crime ever it could be dangerous the pregnant maid is dangerous she assaulted mr gold cool this isn't a game she's desperate how do you know because he assaulted him with know. a brick well then let's find her oh no no hopefully no, no. she there hope the guy she doesn't yes. still have that brick it's considered a deadly weapon I'll look for myself then i'll find you and i'll Oh shit! I I completely zoned out there for a second. There they were there too, so they kn knew of her, knew her. Well, I mean, this is so all the, the all the princesses My knew dear. each other. One can change her life. I mean, she kind of right. She only did just get married. It's not like she like was on this grind set mentality of I'm gonna work from rags to riches. She literally. Found a dude. I'm proud of you too. He thought she was hot, and he was like, "Yo, let's get married." What are you doing? Oh, and then. I just wanted to make sure you were happy. Yes. You. Yes, this is a hinting at baby. You are first born. Of course. Something precious that you don't have yet. Motherfuckers always be wanting babies. My, my life. You. What if they're having twins? I'll be. A, you can take one, keep the other. You know what I'm saying? You know, before you can get like any attachment to the other one. I don't care. Trying to better herself. Trying to get her life together. Night classes. Just like that? a college here. So, then maybe you should just stay out of it. She's been through enough. Do already. people here go to I'm college? Too, Ruby, and I can help well, I mean, the time parents. doesn't move on, so. Anyone who wants to be a mother should damn well be allowed to be one. He still committed a crime, so he can still he's still liable to press charges. It doesn't matter if he's a dick or not. Well, what's with that park job? Why didn't you tell me she sold the baby? Because I didn't think it was important. Why do you keep saying sold? Why do you keep saying away? sold the baby? Oh, my friend. I don't like the idea of people judging her. You give it up to adoption and they pay you for the baby. You propose a new deal. So, I, there's something wrong with the timeline here. Okay, let me see. Just going to pause it for a quick second. So, she is pregnant right now. She's visibly pregnant right now. And she is still pregnant in the current timeline that we're in right now. Emma would have had to been born before that baby. So, Snow White was pregnant. Ha would have to have been pregnant. At least, like... A few months before prior. Uh, cause fuck. Um, I, Thomas can explain it to me, cause maybe I'm just overthinking the timeline. The blue fairy cast a spell. Told you. It's your car. Oh, Jesus. So literally, like it stops you from leaving Storybrooke. Oh well. No where you are, no matter what land you find yourself in, I assure you, I will have your baby. Damn! Imagine like he broke free like you know, eighteen years later, just like oh, what's that? Like shit, taking a full grown man or woman. All right. Well, he can't die. So what the hell is going on with that? Yeah, this baby timeline isn't working out. Thomas. Like, well, I'm, I'm I'm just going to assume uh, Snow White is just like at like literal eight months pregnant right now. No jury in the world will put a woman in jail whose only reason.
reason for breaking and entering was to keep her child. Yo, the jury system is kind of fucked if it's just like, okay, she can get away with it. But this, never mind, I'm not going to get political. And also, this is a fictional fucking Disney show. Oh. Uh. Deal. Why are people so? I'd be like, no, fuck. This vague deal. Take the baby. Go. Henry's expecting me home at five. Oh, was she? Don't she was again. doing the dirty with somebody. The next council meeting. Oh, and don't forget, you left your socks under the bed. That's why she's she's getting getting the dirty in. That we literally don't have time for this. Oh yeah, I'm in trouble. So he's not going to lock the door. Right, she's gonna be, she's gonna be the the popo. Oh, oh, oh! He's sleeping with. Oh, okay, interesting. Set up for drama. I like it. I like it. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that has been episode four of Once Upon a Time. Uh, this episode was pretty good. There was moments where I was just like, this is kind of wonky. Mostly the timeline theory, but I'm just overthinking it. But it's, it is what it is. Um, yeah, Cinderella ha had a baby. Baby was going to get sold. But then people just make bad choices. Like, I wouldn't do a deal that... Like, I wouldn't do a deal that I didn't know, like, the full consequences and, like, repercussions to those consequences. Like, I don't know. I just, it, it's just kind of sus to me. That's why I'm just like, eh, nah, I'm not going to do that. But, um, yeah, uh, got a little bit, no, got a little bit to, got a, got to know a little bit more about Rumpelstiltskin, uh, he seems very menacing. He seems more menacing in this world, in the like the the current timeline than in the previous one. Maybe it's because he was like he's a little bit hammy and whimsical. <laughs> but here is just like he's just like a menacing dude that you don't want to fuck with. He's just like uh, he's just like yo, I'm gonna take that baby, and then let's make a deal, even though that you don't know the stipulations to those deals. Uh, anyway, that has been episode four of Once Upon a Time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, Patreon, so you can get access to episode five right away, or, uh, you can get ap access to episode 10 right away. Uh, with that being said, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Peace.